get to our final off the record parting shots. Bob Clegg, you're up first. Uh, I just went to a reception this week to honor the political career of former Congressman Pat Tiberi. Great, con he's my congressman. He's a great congressman. Great public servant. Number one priority was his constituents, and I wish we had more people like that in D.C. Mm -hmm. Derek. Yeah, so if you go up and down High Street in the short north, you notice that there's a lot of construction going on with a, street, a streetscape project that has begun, multi-million dollar project. It's going to be a little painful in, in the interim, but when it comes out, it's going to be very beautiful. All right, Karen. It's nice weather this weekend, but the flu season is still here. The latest numbers, 1,681 hospitalizations related to the flu, up from 325 at this point last year, which is extraordinary. 417% increase. And also, congratulations to Jim Tomey for making the Baseball Hall of Fame. There should be two Indians in there this time. Omar Vizquel <laughs> is going to make it. He is. And Jackie. Well, uh, you know, John Kasich this week said that he's willing to do whatever he can to help uh, Columbus land the Amazon HQ2. But one thing he's not going to do is call up Jeff Bezos. He says he knows him, but he doesn't think a phone call would go very far. Interesting. Uh, news on the Columbus crew front. The uh, Austin City Council apparently is throwing cold water on owner Anthony Precourt's plan to cite the uh, stadium for his team in Austin, the crew in Austin, in a public park. So now it comes out that the MLS commissioner is talking to Columbus business leaders about possibly staying here. One of two things is happening. Either they're serious about keeping the team here or they're trying to give Anthony Precourt leverage with the Austin City Council to say, if you don't take my deal, we're going to stay in Columbus. And I think it's the latter.